What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the fastest render settings for Vegas Pro 15. Now in Vegas Pro 14, of course Magix took over from Sony, and they introduced a HEVC format which was faster rendering for 8-bit and 10-bit. However, with Vegas Pro 15, they focused more on what people use, and that is of course the MP4 format. So specifically for those who have NVIDIA graphics cards, the specific ones are on screen right now, and for those those who have Intel Skylake processors, you will all be able to see improved rendering times. Now just in a recent update, Magix also introduced those who have QSV enabled systems, you will also be able to render a lot more faster. But anyway, that's enough of me talking, let's get into the faster rendering settings. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15 and this is the edited file to a video I showed you earlier on this week which is how to do the screen shake in Vegas. So rendering is a lot quicker like I've said. So double click up here and you get these render regions. Then come to the render as button. Now these settings I want to be showing you are the same settings I've been using for the past month. I've now actually gone up to 60 frames per second in videos. I'm not too sure if anyone's noticed, but the reason I've actually gone to 60 FPS is because the rendering time is improved for me. So you can see right now I am seeing NVIDIA NVENC. That's because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, which was one of the ones I have shown earlier in the video. So you can see it even supports all the way up to 4K and the format is Magix AVC AAC MP4. So what you're seeing, the ones with the NVIDIA next to it, they are the faster rendering times. So for example, right here, it's internet 1080p, 59 frames per second, which is basically 60 FPS and NVIDIA. The one above it doesn't support the NVIDIA, so it will be a slower render time. So right now, I will actually be doing a comparison. I'm just going to let it set off to render and speed everything up. So this one is going to be called number one. So you can see that right there. And it, I just changed it so it is going to save on my desktop. So this is without NVIDIA. We're going to select render and we'll see how long this takes. Now, this is a video that I have uploaded. So it's not just a random video put together. This is a video I would usually edit and upload so we will see how long this will take. So I'll be back to you when this is done. Okay, so you can see the rendering is now coming to an end and the final time it took is 10 minutes and 5 seconds. Now for me, that was pretty long. For some people it might not be long, but for me it's really long because I haven't used this setting in such a while. But now that is completed, I'm now going to render it again, except this time I'm going to be using the NVIDIA. So this one is going to be called number 2. So remember that the first one we just rendered is called number 1, this one is called number 2, and this is also being saved to the desktop. So I'm going to select render and once again I'm going to speed all this up and I'll be back to you once this is completed. Okay so we are now coming to an end on this rendering and as you can see 7 minutes and 32 seconds, so we beat it by 3 minutes. Now that is a lot. So remember this is only a 4 minutes and 47 second video, so if you guys have gaming videos of course they're going to be a lot longer, so your rendering time will be boosted quite a lot. And also remember, I am using uh, the full HD at 60 frames per second. You may choose 24 frames if it's a short film. You may choose even just 30 frames. So your rendering time can be completely different to mine. It all depends what you're rendering, the file size you're inserting, and of course, how long your video is. I believe doing it this way will make your video render a lot faster. As you have just seen, I've just shown you the example. 
and I've been using like I said for at least a month now. So here are the videos we have number one as you can see it's at 359 megabytes we have number two which is at 211 megabytes so that is actually pretty surprising I've never actually uh, compared the file sizes so number one was the slower one number two was the faster one and if we come over to details for both of them you can see they have the exact same uh, frame rate same dimensions but then if we come down you can see that number two which was the faster rendering is 211 megabytes but number one which was the slower rendering was 359 megabytes so there is a huge difference in terms of file size as well now you might be thinking that means the quality is worse like i've said i've been using these render settings for the past month or so and my videos have still been in very clear quality like this video right now is rendered using this format the same with the video you saw at the start it was recorded in uh 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second and as you'll see that was also very clear so if you do have the graphics card or if you do have the processors i do recommend you try out this type of rendering and you will see a huge difference <laughs>